guys, Julie here from Julie Aaron Designs, and today I wanted to do a video on the Zazzle Design Tool. So the Zazzle Design Tool is kind of different from the other um, print-on-demand uploaders or even like Photoshop or any, um, you know, sort of designing software that you might use. So I get a lot of questions from people about how to use different aspects of the design tool. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video today on how use it and just some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years since I've been using it. Um, so first of all, when you want to create a new product, you need to go over here and to create your own. Um, don't use this other create section because you won't be able to save those products or, or make them for sale. Um, those are more just for people who are shopping. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate on just a random product. So I'm going to select. So, okay, so I selected my products. I'm going to go into Add Image. Okay, and I'm just going to pick a random uh, image here. So, uh, one of the tips that I have is to use designs that have, especially patterns that have transparent backgrounds, because um, this makes it a lot easier to make variations of your design. So, you can go in and add like different background colors really easily and you know all of these can be individual products that you can sell in your store. Um, so I just find this a lot quicker and easier of a way to make recolors and different variations of the design. Um, you can also go here into filters and add you know a different filter to some of these so you know you can even make a different design just from the one the one image that you've uploaded here. There's a lot more options. Make it black and white, whatever you want to do, right? Um, so that's one tip that I have. And another tip that I have is to um, use layers. So I already kind of have shown you here these layers, and you can use the background, or you can upload your own image to use as a background. Um, and you can actually you know, go backwards and forwards and that kind of thing, kind of play around with these tools, align, align it however you want, you can add a filter to the background, um, whatever you want there. And just having different layers makes it a lot easier as well to make different designs from the same, same images. Um, also add text and I recommend adding text to your designs where they make sense because on Zazzle a lot of people are looking for like customizable designs so um, if you just add text like this that's not gonna do anything it's just gonna say your name essentially <laughs> so you have to come over here and choose make this a template object so then you can put here name, name, right? And then when you go to the product page, it, it'll show this. So before it doesn't have that, but when you add this template, it'll show this. And then you can go in here and actually put in your name. So you know you've set that up correctly. Um, so I'm just gonna go back into, I'm just looking at my notes here, sorry. Um, so another tip that I have is to use this copy and paste function. So you can actually like, you know, edit, select all, and then copy, and then go to the Zazzle website and create like a totally different product with the same layers that you've already kind of set up so especially with the name and all that stuff and it paste so there you go so everything but the background there which you can just add from here um, so there you go you've got a whole nother product with the exact same design and all the things and all the layers that you've already created in the other design so that's another really quick and easy way to create products faster is to use this copy and paste function. Um, so um, yeah, you've also got like all these 
grid lines and things, which is really handy to, you know, line stuff up. So it's like the middle there and then the middle there. So, you know, that's like completely centered and it works with the text box as well. Um, so make sure you use these tools and you've also got align tools here. Um, yeah, and you know, text, you've got all these different fonts you can choose from. Those are kind of fun. Um, now there's one kind of glitchy thing I just wanted to show you. So you can make patterns. If you didn't know about that, there's different types of patterns that you can create right in here. So it's, it's good to actually upload like a pattern tile. So then you can just create a pattern straight in the tool here. But if I want to go ahead and make it smaller, like it does this weird thing, right? Like you don't want that. So what you got to do is go to none. So turn, turn the patterning off and then scale it to the size that you want before going back in and creating the pattern that way. So that's just kind of a, a weird glitchy thing in Zazzle's design tool that you should know about. Um, and the last thing, which I haven't really used too much yet, but it's kind of a new thing here. Um, so there are these like shapes that you can add, which is kind of nice for, for certain things you might want to make. Um, and they actually have this new tool that is like a masking tool. So, okay, let's see if I can make this work. So I've got my layers, I've got my shape, and I think I got to select both of these, or yeah, select these two. Okay, and then See, this came up now. So before it was only one, you couldn't select that, but now you can. So select mask and look at that. It's like inside that circle that I created. Right? So that's pretty cool. I mean, this design itself looks terrible. I was just picking random things, but <laughs> I can think of a lot of ways you could use this masking tool to make all kinds of cool artwork or, you know, put like text in here and have like a different pattern around it or, you know, whatever. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my tips on in this video. Um, if you liked this, please give it a thumbs up and follow my channel for more print-on-demand tips and tricks. I sell on Zazzle, Society6, Redbubble, other print-on-demand shops. Um, you can also visit my website, juliandesigns.com. I have lots of more information there on selling your art on Zazzle and other print-on-demand sites. Um, so yeah, hope you like this video, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.